Gauteng MEC Panyasa Lesufi found hanging outside the Department of Education in Gauteng sparks outrage across the country. This follows several threats made to the MEC Lesufi and his family since the ANC-led government's decision to change the language policy at certain schools in the province from Afrikaans only to a parallel medium. Well, to help us understand what's at the heart of this behavior is social anthropologist and social cohesion expert uh, Dr. Raj Govinder, who's joining us now from our Durban studios. Good afternoon, Doctor, and thank you for sharing your insights with us on the SABC News Desk. Good afternoon to you and to the viewers. Uh, Doc, why are dual medium language schools evoking such vehement resistance from some people? The MEC clearly is not trying to get rid of Afrikaans, uh, which is a widely spoken language from people of all races. Uh, he's just introducing two languages to some schools. Yes, basically, Afrikaans is being taught in most of the schools in South Africa. In this particular situation here, the community, a very small minority community, want Afrikaans to be the primary language to be taught at the school. Now, this is so unnecessary, unwarranted and foolish of this particular community to make these demands and interfere in the work of an MEC that is doing an excellent work in terms of social cohesion and nation building and also to eradicate racism in schools. This is certainly not acceptable. This particular uh, minority group has an agenda which is not good for the democracy of this country. Uh, doctor, but why resort to such demeaning derogatory conduct? I mean, hanging up in effigy. Uh, we want to understand what motivates this behavior. Uh, and why not just make an appointment with the MEC at his office and engage respectfully? Uh, especially seeing, uh, like you mentioned, yes. that the MEC responds promptly. He's got a good track record. He engages with everybody. He's known for his thorough consultation. And most importantly, he listens to what everybody has to say. Yes, and in most of the instances, the MEC has been having meaningful dialogues with different communities regarding the Clipsprayed affair and various mm. other issues where race was the paramount problem in those particular institutions. And this particular minority group should have consulted with the MEC. But what's more important, they should consult broadly with the Afrikaner community to determine whether this is the needs and aspirations of that particular community to have a school in South Africa only being use, uh, using Afrikaans as a medium of instruction. What harm are we doing to those poor kids in terms of globalization and the national economic sector where a group of kids are being taught Afrikaans, they go into university with only Afrikaans whereas the universities have transformed and then exposed to the international market with a language that is not internationally known. Mm. They mm. are doing more harm mm. to those poor kids mm. in the school rather than assisting them. Uh, Doc, this is not a, a new problem. We've seen racial tensions persist at school level uh, in a post-democratic South Africa, whether it's the Afro hair protests or, or, or linguistics or language policies. How do we start best handling social cohesion and diversity management at school level? Innovative strategies need to be implemented. The school governance system, the parents, the educators and learners need to come together and find innovative strategies in addressing multiculturalism in South Africa. We have to understand the schools have transformed, communities have transformed, and a new complexion is there. So schools need to have culture days, they need to have cultural exchange programs. It's still sending children to overseas on an exchange program when the children locally did not even see or experience what a township can offer in terms of uh, cultural assimilation. So, so the schools need to come together, more dialogue needs to be taking place, parents need to get involved and innovative strategies need to be implemented so that we can celebrate our multiculturalism in a diverse country like South Africa. More yes. so, Doctor, we are celebrating yes. Freedom Day tomorrow exactly. and yes. here we have 
Yes, uh, you've just preempted my next question. We are on the cusp of Freedom Day, uh, and what should a cohesive, unified society be characterized by? Because there was a great deal of expectation uh, on a post-democratic South Africa. Should should there be a shared sense of belonging, uh, a shared vision of the future, and a shared identity? South Africans. Every one of us, whether you black, white, blue, or purple, we can only be free if issues such as, such as racism is totally eradicated, so that everybody can live in a democratic dispensation where everybody belongs, uh, uh, are uh, classified as South Africans. And therefore, uh, you know, issues like this, where the, uh, interference in an MEC that is trying to bring about some solutions to the school situation are being interfered with is totally unwarranted, foolish and undemocratic. And, and, the, and the MEC has a constitutional right to level the playing fields in these schools and let him do his job and let him find solutions to bringing uh, a, a democratic change into this country instead of uh, putting up effigies and threatening him and his family, etc. It is totally unacceptable in this day and age, so many years into democracy. Dr. Raj Govinder, social anthropologist and social cohesion expert, joining us from our Durban studios in KwaZulu-Natal.